Okay, so you saw me this morning on my phone, um, but we need to chat. And um, also, I was having some technical difficulties yesterday and the vlog wouldn't upload, so it's like stuck. Um, so there will be two vlogs yesterday for you yesterday, but for me today, there'll be two vlogs. Um, but yeah, so we need to chat. Um, I don't want to go over my exome results with you guys because we have to meet with a genetic counselor to like finalize things. Um, but one thing that is for sure is for all this time we thought that I got EDS from my dad. I did not. I got classical EDS from my mother. What? That's crazy. Like, I was not expecting that at all. Um, she kind of was. She had a feeling, but I was very surprised. Um, but yeah, we don't have any official results. We have the report, but we have to go over. We have to go over everything with a genetic counselor before um, before we can like know officially what everything is. Um, in re in regards to the other things that they found. Um, so, yeah. So you saw me you saw me drive to physical therapy, or before I drove to physical therapy. You saw me in the elevator. Um, they, while I was at physical therapy, we did a lot of things um, and we worked on my back and it actually, I actually got some relief for the first time in a month of this like excruciating back issue. I actually got some relief and we think we figured out what's going on so that's really nice. Um, but then, as I was going to leave, I passed out, which I pass out a lot, like not an uncommon thing for me. But I passed out and then like, I had to stay late and luckily they didn't call the ambulance this time because we know me, I don't need an ambulance every time I pass out. So that was good. Um, but yeah, they're really good about it. My physical therapists are always really good about like my issues, <laughs> but yeah. So, passed out of physical therapy today, that was fun. Not really. Um, which then caused my back to hurt worse, and then my adrenal stuff went like, <laughs> thumbnail right there. <laughs> um, so then I had to come home and I had to stress those for the cortisol, and it was just the bleh. And my blood sugar was low because my feeding pump died, and it was just one big like swarm of bleh. So. But I'm doing a little bit better now. I'm just sore and tired. Um, so I am gonna rest for a little while, but I wanted to update you guys on physical therapy. So my nurse comes in about... I don't have a watch on. Why did I do that? I don't have a watch on. <sighs> um. She'll be here in about an hour. No, about a half hour, actually. I need to get ready for her. Um, yeah, so my nurse gets here in about a half hour. I'll see how much I can film of getting my port accessed. Um, and I'll see if she wants to be on camera, but if she doesn't, I have to respect her privacy. But this nurse is really, really nice, so I have a feeling she'll be okay with it, but, because she watches my YouTube channel and stuff. Um, hi, Jolay, I love you. Mm -hmm. Why do I always get, like, whenever I'm, like, joking around or being sarcastic, and get like this? <laughs> so this is my sarcastic face. <laughs> but I'm not sarcastic, Jolay, I really do love you. <laughs>
hello again. So, I'm gonna do some cleaning of my bedroom. Um, and, oh, oh. Um, and so, all accessed, and I'm running my fluids right now. Um, my nurse just left, Julie just left. She's so nice, guys, I love her so much. Um, yeah, so, Julie just left. I am hoping to go to my grandparents this evening to plan my grad party. Um, yes, I'm late to the game. I don't want a big party. Like, the whole open house stuff, like, stresses me out. Like, because I want to be able to have a party that I can enjoy. And if a bunch of people are there, it's just going to wear me out. And then I'm not going to enjoy my own grad party. So, I just want it to be, like, close friends and family and people that I really care about that'll, that'll come. Um, so I've kind of <laughs> been putting off planning it and I graduate in two weeks so I'm like I need to do that um, so I'm gonna plan my grad party hopefully tonight and I was supposed to order my furniture for my room a couple days ago and I haven't so I should probably do that today um, I'll see if I can I'll see if she can help me do that today uh, my grandma but yeah so that's my plan. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just have a lot to do today and I'm not feeling the greatest. I have a really bad dehydration headache um, and just overall not feeling too, too great. So I, it is, why do I keep looking at my wrist like I have a watch? Also, this hair, yeah. I just need to grow out longer. It's like this awkward length that I just keep like, eh. Anyways, can you tell that I'm like tired and out of it? <laughs> um, yeah, so, got some fluids running, what was I saying? I don't even know guys, I'm just tired and, <laughs> I'm just tired and kind of out of it, um, and just sore from passing out earlier today and falling and stuff like that. Although, I mean, she caught me, but still. Also, my surgeon called me and we talked about the J2, but at this point in time, I'm not willing to do it. I met with him and, um, you know, I just, I've known too many people that have complications and from the statistics that he found, there's a 58% complication rate in Pete's patients, like people 18 and under with J-tubes and that's really high. So I think there's a possibility that we might do another surgery to secure my GJ to see if that would help because I'm a lot more inclined to do that than a J-tube surgery right now and I know I get comments from you guys all the time like why haven't you gotten a J-tube yet and it's not a simple procedure like it is complicated it has a lot of complications like if you have a J-tube and you don't have complications you are the minority like and after Jackie passed away from complications of her J-tube I was like that was kind of the tipping point for me of like yeah no I'm not I'm not ready to do that yet um, because the whole reason for this is quality of life like and the radiation aspect of it but I'm like I have a better quality of life right now than I do dead and as harsh as that is like that's where I'm at right now so he called us and I was like yeah we're calling this off for now like I'm not I'm not ready to do this so it's been a long day with a lot of appointments and medical stuff to deal with my exome my surgeon my nurse pt passing out all of it so i'm just kind of worn out um and i have some stuff to do this evening so i'm gonna end the vlog here but hopefully my computer will get its crap together or youtube will get its crap together i don't know either one i don't know what was the issue yesterday but the vlog would not upload it's all edited and everything it just won't upload to youtube so i'm like eh. so hopefully i can sit down and edit the vlog that's supposed to go up today and repost the one that was supposed to go up yesterday so because i'm still daily vlogging and i'm doing good at it i'm being on top of it and i'm making it work i'm devoted so <laughs> i'm gonna end the vlog and i will see you guys tomorrow bye <laughs> sarcastic face again <laughs>